Hey, this is Gma. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope you're doing good. So I was asked yesterday on a Q and A on Instagram. So, uh, how has music affected, or uh, how I get through things, and how it's affected my life? And I'll post the question here. But, uh, so I guess I just had to start with the origin, right? So I started making music, um, I'd say two months after my grandpa passed away. So I, I'm not blood related to him, but he's still my grandpa nonetheless. And I would, like every year I try and go out to his grave and play him new songs and write and things like that. So this is an emotional video today, but. <laughs> oh, if anyone's asking, I like a blackberry citrus but so oh after my grandpa died i was left with nothing in my life because i was back home my mom didn't provide very much i was pretty just average hood kid you know i didn't go to school I sold drugs i did all sorts of dumb shit um sneak off every night mom didn't know where i was didn't tell her didn't care Money was more important, and uh, just after my grandpa died, I attempted suicide for the second time ever in my life. I'm 18 now, I've had six attempts, but uh, the reason why this comes up is like being a musician and mental health, they go hand in hand. That's part of the reason why I went to rehab too, is because I came to the correlation with my uh, thinking that I put myself in a box by being addicted because I cannot be addicted and pursue music. One is either going to get big, then it's going to kill the other one, right? So if my addiction gets too big, music's out the window. If music gets too big, then addiction's out the window. So I'm trying to go the other way. <laughs> yeah, so music came to me in a very dark time. Very, very dark time. Um... I don't think I left my room really, like when I was 10 years old, I, I honestly don't think I left my room, I live in bathroom and that type of stuff, but like, I think four months, I went to school maybe once a week, people could tell I was doing worse, it's kind of fucked up, but they thought I was going to be a school shooter or some shit, I was just sad, real fucking sad, but that that's way in the past. They like way in the past. But that's what I'm saying, because music gives me that hope and that desire to keep moving forward, because without it, I'm nothing. And like even here, I wear this hat around. It says, hey, Gmon Music, YouTube, Spotify, Wahiwani. So I'm here, I'm alive in Lakota. Then I put eyes on the back. But... Uh, like I was saying, without music, I wouldn't be here and saved my life uh, many times, many occasions. Uh, music gives me a purpose. It just, it's universal. It's my drum, you know? That's why, like, uh, for us, La Jota, for, like, the Wachipi, the powwows, right? It's like one, two, three, four, right? So everything plays in fours. There's four directions, right? And if you know Capital Steez, he's big on like 47, all that type of stuff. Well, that applies to the Lakota culture, you know, because there's uh, four ways for the men and then there's seven ways for the women. So it's just things that come down like that. <laughs> this is kind of weird. You know, the universe, things start working out when you quit searching. You find answers when you quit searching. It sounds kind of counterintuitive, but it'll make sense to everyone one day. Yeah, it helps me get through every day because, like, I've been in this treatment facility um, at Crossings for, like, two years now. Uh, I'm 18, but I can't drive myself to places or things like that. I don't know. I've been too many foster homes, just a lot of crap like that. Like, my last foster home, it kept me through because my adopt well, not adopted. I, I wasn't adopted. It's just brain being stupid. But my, my foster mom at the time, she's very authoritarian. I came from a household with no rules other than, Noah, don't come back home in a cop car or you aren't my son, pretty much, right? 
and now it's like they would lock the fridge when I left or they'd lock every door when they left and it would just be dumb shit like that. There is no trust, no trust at all. We took my guitar away as punishment once before too, I remember that. And then when I had a C in school, they took away my gym privileges because I, at the time, I'd wake up 3 a.m. and I'd ride my bike to the gym and I'd go work out because it's the only thing that kept my, my head good. And guess what? The whole time I'm working out, I'm listening to music. Now, I think the type of music you listen to can affect you. People, ooh, if you're listening to stuff about wanting to kill people and blah, 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 and that's constant, you're probably going to start getting thoughts like that. If you think about, like, if you listen to music that makes you feel good and things like that, you're probably going to be like that. Like, it's just kind of, like, in correlation with it, you know? Like, obviously, I'm not going to listen to, like, Tommy Wright the Third, die, brother, die, and then go kill someone, you know? Like, unless... That was my intention that day, but it all comes down to your perspective, you know, because um, like my everyday life, I'm making music every day. Like I always have my guitar out. Well, her name's Veronica, you know, like I always, always just have it ready to go. It's like a little noodling, you know? But that's what I'm saying it is setting yourself up for success. Uh, it should be like the first thing you think about like before you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning. And it's just being in tune with the universe for me. Because music, I'm able to help people. I've been able to heal that inner child in me that didn't have all this stuff he has now. You know, like for me, I'm like, this This sounds kind of stupid to people, but I don't really like gold, if that makes sense. Like for me, my, my little brother gave me this chain. My mama gave me this, this top chain, right? That's worth more than a million dollar diamond chain to me because it has a story behind it. I don't need to be flaunting all this other crap and stuff like that. With music, it helps me stay humble. Real fucking humble, you know? Because music, I didn't really have a lot of good role models growing up. Honestly, none to really, like, I don't know. I can't really think of any role models really what I had as a kid that, like, were role models. So... Uh, one of my favorite songs that always helped me get through a lot of things is like Afro Man, uh, God Has Smiled On Me. And it's just like songs that are going to lift you up in those hard times. That's what matters to me. That's why I like when I make music, I, I have the principle of real. So raw, emotional, authentic, loving. Right? Then positivity equals progress, right? So a lot of my songs, they start off negative, then get positive because that's how life is. You know, a lot of us, we start out negative and then we have to start learning how to turn things around because God, Tenkashila, the universe, the big spaghetti monster in the sky, they give you everything you need. They give you the blueprints and it's up to you to build it. You know, uh, there is a... Cinem cinema, I don't know, I can't speak. Well, anyways, so I, I went to this uh, Christian thing. Like, I myself, I'm not Christian, but I'm open all religions. So I, I talk to people, I learn from people, I learn their perspectives. If it helps me, it helps me. If it does not, it does not. So he talked about you know, just throwing, throwing the stick, right? So whatever happens with the stick is out of your control, but the fact that you threw the stick... You don't know if it's going to hit the tree. You don't know if it's going to hit the grass or things like that. It's just trusting, trusting the universe, you know, and it's just something so simple to practice, right? So, I don't know.
Because for me, music gives me something to stand on, something to be proud of, something to be happy with every single day. This could be a two-hour video for all I care. It's not going to be. It's going to end soon, but... <laughs> I'm just happy, you know, because with music, I'm able to grow and I'm able to adapt. And I'm able to connect with the viewer. Because I, like for me, like I'm not trying to be egotistical. But like when I'm big and everything, I, I care a lot more about the connection than having like 2 million streams on Spotify or having the most girls ever and blah 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 like it's just dumb crap to me bro it's all material it don't matter like my friend Hayden when he was homeless he came and lived with me for like four weeks right it's just things like that I didn't ask no money I didn't ask anything and it's just simple things like that where it's like it's just being human it's all it comes down to cause you know it's just paper paper bro it's worthless and you see that's the shit though because growing up with it i didn't i didn't have my mom made maybe 7k a year off her disability money right um even then it was still worthless to me because it's the bond and the respect that you get from people that ends up being worth a lot more at least that's how it is for me because respect gets you a lot more than paper, in my opinion. But I have a challenge for everyone who watched this, alright? So, you need to think of things you like. Uh, and how, how you can expand on it. Why does it make you happy? Why do you like doing this, right? And just keep doing it. Find more time to do it. Just... Find more time to enjoy simple things in life, you know? Like, I really like tea. I found, I was like, you know, I can multitask. I can make a video. I can drink my tea. It's just things like that. You just got to go with the process and just let yourself be happy because you don't have to stress yourself out over all the little things, you know? Because in my opinion, life is super simple. We just make it super complex for ourselves. Because it's, it's literally just my thoughts and my actions reflect my soul. My thoughts and my actions become my reality. My perception on things becomes my reality. So how I see things affects everything for me. So it's trying to see things in all sorts of lights instead of one singular light so I don't remain boxed in. But with that, um, this is Jima. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm gonna try doing weekly videos so like Saturday Sunday. Hopefully there will be a video Thank you. Have a great day, and I love you. I'm proud of you